Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S2-2260 Come back, Amelia, Medallia, Medallia by Peggy Parrish Oh my cream puffs, said Amelia Bedelia. She went to the stove. Just right, she said. Amelia Bedelia took a cream puffs out of the stove. There now, she said, I'll just let them cool. Then I will fill them with chocolate cream. Mrs. Rogers came into the kitchen. Good morning, Amelia Bedelia, she said. Morning, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll have some cereal with my coffee this morning said Mrs. Rogers. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers went into the dining room. Amelia Bedelia got the cereal. She put some in a cup and she fixed Mrs. Rogers some cereal with her coffee. She took it into the dining room. Amelia Bedelia said Mrs. Rogers, what is that mess? It's your cereal with coffee, said Amelia Bedelia. Oh, you are impossible, said Mrs. Rogers. You are fired. You mean, you don't want me anymore? asked Amelia Bedelia. That's just what I mean, said Mrs. Rogers. Now go. Amelia Bedelia got her bag and she ran away. Amelia Bedelia walked towards town. Now, what will I do, she said. She passed by the beauty shop. A sign said, Lady Wanted. Now let's see what that's about, said Amelia Bedelia. She went into the beauty shop. Can I help you? asked the lady. No, I came to help you, said Amelia Bedelia. Can you fix air? Oh yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I can do that, then you can start now, said the lady. Mrs. Hughes is waiting to have her hair pinned up. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked all around, but I don't see any pins, she thought. It's a good thing I carry some with me. Amelia Bedelia opened the purse. She took out some pins. And Amelia Bedelia began to pin up Mrs. Hughes' hair. What are you doing, said Mrs. Hughes. Pinning up your hair, said Amelia Bedelia. Did I stick you? Help, called Mrs. Hughes. The beauty shop lady came. Oh no, what have you done? Go away right this minute. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia went on her way. Now why did she get so mad, said Amelia Bedelia. I just did what she told me to do. Amelia Bedelia looked in all the stores. She came to a dress shop. It had a help wanted sign in the window. Amelia Bedelia went into the store. What kind of help is wanted? She asked. Sewing help, said the lady. Can you sew? Yes, yeah, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm very handy with the needle. Then come with me, said the lady. She took Amelia Bedelia into the bathroom. Please shorten these dresses. They are already marked, said the lady. All right, uh, said Amelia Bedelia. The lady left her. I don't need to sew to do this, said Amelia Bedelia. She took the scissors and Amelia Bedelia shortened those dresses. Amelia Bedelia went back to the front of the store. I'm finished. What's next? Finished? How could you be? The lady went into the back room. She saw the dresses. Oh no, she said. You have ruined them, but I just shortened them, said Amelia Bedelia. Oh, go away, said the lady. I don't want you. So Amelia Bedelia went, some folk, she said, I just don't understand that. Amelia Bedelia walked another block or so. She saw a sign in a window, said file clerk wanted. Now I wonder where the file clerk is. She said, I'll just go in and find out. A man met her. Are you a file clerk? He asked. I will be one, said Amelia Bedelia. If you will tell me what to do, all right said the man. First, take these letters, they need stamps, and file these paper. I'll do that, said Amelia Bedelia. The man went into his office. Amelia Bedelia looked at the letters. Now, should I stamp them all at once or one at a time? I better do them one at a time. So Amelia Bedelia took his letter. She put it on the floor, and Amelia Bedelia stamped on it. There, she said, 
There should be no stamp. Now I better get these papers filed. Uh, look, then she looked in a purse. She found the fingernail file. It should be just small to file all these papers. But I'll do the best I can. And Amelia Bedelia began to file the papers. The man came back. Stop. What are you doing? Just filing your papers. Do you have a bigger file? Oh, no, said the man. Do go away. So Amelia Bedelia went. I declare, she said, everybody is mad today. Amelia Bedelia walked on down the street. She came to a doctor's office. There was a sign that said, help wanted. Maybe that's the job for me, she said, Amelia Bedelia. She went inside. The doctor was there. I'll be your help, said Amelia Bedelia. Good, said the doctor. Bring in the patients one at a time. Come when I buzz for you. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. I can do that. The doctor went into his office. A woman and a girl came in. Who is the patient? Asked Amelia Bedelia. Jane, said the woman. Then I'll take her in, said Amelia Bedelia. She picked Jane up. Put me down. I can walk. Screamed Jane. No, the doctor said to bring you in. Amelia Bedelia carried Jane into the doctor's office. Put Jane down, said the doctor. Bring her mother in. Bring her mother in? Can she just walk? Never mind said the doctor. Mrs. Jackson, please come in. Amelia Bedelia went back to her desk. A little later, the buzzer rang. I need your help, uh, said the doctor. Dickie has a bad cut. He needs a few stitches. I can take care of that. She opened the purse. There is a needle now. What color thread does Dickie like? No, no, said the doctor. I wanted you to put my gloves on. Can you do that? Oh my yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll be glad to. Oh, they're now. They are a little big, but they are on. What next? Doctor looked at Amelia Bedelia. His face turned red. Go home, he said. Home, said Amelia Bedelia. My goodness, she said. I forgot about my cream pups. I must go back and fill them. Amelia Bedelia went back to the Roger's house. I just make the chocolate cream, said Amelia Bedelia. She put a little of this and a bit of that into a pot. She mixed and she stirred, and soon her chocolate cream was cooked. Oh, Mrs. Rogers came into the kitchen. That smells good. Well, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll just fill the cream puffs, then I'll, do, I'll be on my way. Oh no, said Mrs. Rogers. I'm sorry I got mad. Please come back, Amelia Bedelia. We miss you. All right. I'll be glad to. I'm hungry, he said. Amelia Bedelia, please hit me a can of soup. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. She took a can of soup. She put it in a pot. And Amelia Bedelia heated that can of soup. The end.